Okay, so with um, Chinese democracy, which um, I think this is the first time I'm telling this story in, in any kind of interview or anything, but um, that was, uh, it's, I think I have the, the record for how long my drums have been set up in a studio, and I think it was five years the drums were set up at the Village Recorders in Los Angeles. My drums are up there for five years. I think it went through three different producers. It went through um, uh, Sean Bevan, Roy, Roy Thomas Baker, and then I guess Axel's the producer now. So that's so. But five years, my drums were set up, and um, basically how it started was Josh Fries was the drummer before and he had basically played on about 30 songs and when he had left Axel really liked my feel so he was like well I really like what Josh played but I want your feel and I was like okay so I'll learn these songs and go in and, and, and re replay them and it was like no I really liked what Josh played but I want your feel and I'm like well what does that mean and Roy was the producer at that time, and, I, and he's like, well, basically what you're going to have to do is play exactly what Josh played, exactly, note for note, but you play it like how, so I'm like, so I'm going to have to transcribe every, like, 30-something songs, and I'm like, I mean, I'm not getting paid enough for this. So I'm like, I don't mind doing that, but you're going to have to get someone else to transcribe it. So I went to the head transcriber at Sony Studios, and I brought him two CDs worth of like 30 songs. And I said, dude, I want note for note you to transcribe everything that's on this drum wise. So about a month later, he calls me and I get back. I go and pick it up at Sony Studios. I get like, it must have been that thick of sheet music. And it was every song written out note for note and these were some seven minute songs with like at the end josh doing soloing actually like like every note was written out and he had like the exact solo of the end of there was a time baby that was like literally i don't know like two minutes of a vamp at the end of josh just going crazy all written out so basically i went in and we set up at the top of this, like, in the village, we, we decided to record. I went in and I heard the room uh, in the Studio C, and I was like, well, you know, this is cool, but, you know, we're making, like, the Guns N' Roses album. Come on, we can't just be in the studio where, like, everybody else records. you got to have something better than this. And the owner, Jeff, was like, well, we have an auditorium that used to be a Masonic temple upstairs. I'm like, well, there you go. Now we're talking, you know, like Led Zeppelin getting into something here so we go to the top and it's all cold and up there it's like you know just really eerie feeling and, and I'm like this is it this is where we got to record all the drums so we basically ran everything up to the top of this of this village recorders and we set up the drums in this auditorium and so it really just had a huge kind of bottom-ass sound we set up all the drums in the corner and we literally Put, when I opened the charts, there were like one page, two page, three, four, five, like six pages. And they wanted, Roy didn't want me to do it in sections. So it wasn't like, okay, here's the verse and I'm playing it. It's like, no, you got to play it as one piece. So I'm like, dude, I got to like practice this and get, so each song we had up, like we had this huge like banner made where we could have a whole chart across. So I would look at it from like here all the way to like like almost like a 90 degrees i would just see this huge chart and i learned every song for like i don't know maybe two weeks learned all the parts i sat there and like got it down like I, like it was orchestrated like i just practiced until i got it then i would say roy and while everybody down at the studio and it's two thousand dollars a day studio would just be sitting there like watch, watching like cartoons or the exorcist or something it's like well i'm upstairs practicing and i would call downstairs and be like oh hey, yeah man i think i got it so maybe we should try it two weeks have gone by i think i got it 
we try to record, track it for two days until I got the perfect take. One song done. Okay, let's start the next one. About seven to eight months later, I was done. And that's how that album was recorded.